Well, the potatoes are getting real close to harvest, so we're going to start this final video and we're going to uh, watch the progression of them all the way up till we dump them buckets out and see what we really got. Good morning, YouTube family. Here's these tater plants we've been talking about. Let's take a look at how much they've grown. And you can see they're, they're getting pretty big. They look really, really beautiful. So let's walk down the road here and take a look at what we got. These plants have entered into stage four, which is where they're actually um, they're actually uh, producing potatoes. And the reason I know that is you see the blooms that they're making, they're making little blooms. And when you see your potato plants with the little flowers on the top like that, that means they're making taters down there in the ground. So this is a good sign. It's very exciting because it's not gonna be too much longer. And these, all these leaves are gonna start to turn yellow and the, the, the stalks will start to die back. and that's when we know that it's time to harvest our potatoes. So we're getting close. So we'll be back in, in a couple, couple, three weeks. All right, today I wanted to uh, go back to tater school for a little while, just for a few minutes. Bear with me on this. I think you'll get something out of it. I know I sure did. Uh, there's two types of potatoes. There's determinate and there's indeterminate. The determinate potato they tend to fruit all at one time, and they're usually a early season potato, such as Pontiac Red or Yukon Gold. They're early season potatoes, these varieties. The other type, the indeterminate, they tend to fruit over long periods of time, and they're, they're late season varieties, such as a Russet Nugget, German Butterball, and what I believed was Kennebec White because they're mid to late season um, varieties. So let's talk about these two types of potatoes and let me walk you through this real quick. The first one, the determinate one, I wanna walk you through first. We put this on our Facebook page a while back. It's the five growth stages of um, of um, the potatoes. So if you want to get a copy of this, go to our Facebook page, Hollis and Nancy's Homestead, and this is on there and you can um, make a print of this for yourself. It's pretty helpful. Remember we started out on the um, container movies and uh, we, we planted some potatoes in containers. This is the container right here. Okay, and this is our seed potato. And when we planted these potatoes, we put about four to six inches of soil, and we put the potato in there, and we covered it up to this level right here. And that's what we started. And this is um, the first day. And then we're going into the growth stage, which is stage one. And stage one, what happens is it started out as, off of those chits. Those chits started coming up, and they broke the surface. We came out one day and we saw the top of the ground bulge a little bit and it cracked and crumbled looking up and it kind of erupted. And when it did, if you will remember, the first thing it did is it popped off. It popped off some leaves. What we call that right there is the top turning green. That's growth stage one. The stem erupts 
it top pops out with um, new leaves and that's what we call the tops turning green once the tops turn green like this this is as high as this potato will ever make potatoes it will never make any potatoes any higher than this level on a determinant type potato this is it okay so on um our potatoes we saw this and we were real excited and they kept on growing and what they did is that stem over the next couple of weeks, they grow really fast. It grew up into the pot that big. And so what we did next was we came in here and we added another layer of soil. And we covered up about two thirds of that plant that had had emerged and what that does is when you cover up with the soil these little leaves that were growing we buried those and they just die and they um, die back to the stem so what you have is you have the stem and it's continuing up and it's still producing leaves vegetative growth stage and during this stage down here the this is the initial um, point where it started we'll call this I'm gonna call that the green point this was the green point that's when it erupted and broke the surface right so it starts to get some little true little true roots coming off of right there and you're getting more true roots off of the seed potato in the bottom it's keeping on doing that and the vegetative growth continues to grow Okay, we noticed after a couple of more weeks that stem had continued to grow and it got up higher to the point where it actually passed the top of the pot. And at that point, we came in and we added some more soil, remember? And it does the same thing again. These leaves die back under the ground because we buried them. It doesn't hurt the plant, but those will rot off. And you continue with the... um the stem as it continues on the vegetative growth and this is called growth stage number two now this keeps on continuing and when we got up to this point we also added straw on the top because if you'll remember we talked about I don't want any ultraviolet light no sunlight coming down through this pot and being able to reach any of our new potatoes because it sunburns them and when it sunburns them, they turn bitter and they're toxic. They turn green. So we don't want any sunlight coming in. So we've got a layer of soil, another layer of soil, and then a layer of, of straw to try to keep that sunlight out. That's the whole reason I was doing it on these determinant potatoes was to keep the sunlight out. Okay. Now, we're continuing on the growth stage number three. And it's, it's keeping on growing on up higher and higher. And while it's doing that, something new starts to happen in growth stage number three. We start to get some lateral roots that come out below the green point. And these roots come out like this. And these are called the Stalin. And on and the... Um, Stalin on the very tip of these things they start to grow a little tiny tuber in other words a baby potato and it's just a little old bitty point like that it's not much to it a little tiny tuber okay now during this growth stage number three um, we're growing these lateral roots and notice that these lateral Stalins will grow no higher than the green point. They will cut, not come up this stem into the bucket. They only come up as high as where we turn green and that's where they stop. They will not go any higher. Now the plant comes on up and we enter in to another stage called stage four. And that's where you'll see on the top of the plant, little flowers start to bloom. And they're kind of pretty to look at, but they don't last very long and they're real small. So you kind of got to keep an eye out for them because when these are 
happening, you have actually hit into stage four. So when you see flowers, you know that your potatoes are in growth stage four, which means you have tuber bulking going on down below. And when you're making flowers, you're making taters. So some of these little tiny tubers, now they're starting to be big tubers and they're growing. They're making potatoes, okay? Okay, so we've got some new potatoes getting bigger and bigger. This is called the tuber bulking stage number four. And we've got the flowers. Well, after a while, you'll notice that these flowers up here, they start to die and fall off. And when you see that happening, what you have done is you're, you're at the very end of stage four and you're going into stage five. And the stage five is called the maturation, the maturation stage. They're, they're maturing. And during stage five, you'll see all of these leaves and uh, the flowers will fall off and leaves will start to droop. The, the plant itself looks sickly and um, it resembles to me, a, a plant that's in root distress from root rot. It sags and hangs and wilts and turns yellow and just looks puny and you worry about it. But actually that's a good thing because what it's doing is the rest of these tubers that are down here, they're continuing to grow and they're getting bigger and bigger. And you're getting, uh, you're not gonna get uh, any more because they've already made as many as they're gonna make they just get bigger and bigger to a point. So during this growth stage, eventually all of this up here turns yellow, the leaves fall off, the vines wither, and it looks like it's just about shot. And when it's at that point, the tubers are not gonna get any bigger. They're not gonna make any more, but you don't wanna snatch them out of the ground and check it. You want the, the skin on those, those brand new potatoes are real soft and if I pull it up at that stage I could just take take my hand and just rub that potato and rub that skin right off of it so when that plant looks droopy and sick and died down like that when it gets into that stage good give it about 10 days 14 days and let those skins down there toughen up a little bit and that's what it's doing during that last phase and after that then we'll cut cut that top um, vine off and get it away, throw it in your compost pile or whatever you want to do with it, throw that away, then we'll take the bucket and dump it out and we'll harvest what we have down here below the green point. That's a determinant potato. Okay, now let's talk indeterminate. An indeterminate, it grows the same way as the determinant, the only difference is, is when we come up to the green point right here, which was what we're going to call right here. There's the green point. When we broke the surface and we got some leaves right there and we started adding more soil, the stem continuing to grow. We added more soil. The stem continued. It went all the way up and it went through all the stages. The only difference in an indeterminate compared to a determinant is the indeterminate continues to grow the Stalins. As you're adding more dirt, they add more Stalins. This is ideal for container growing because you get a lot of yield out of a container. Um, these Stalins will eventually turn into potatoes and and at the end of growth stage five, it's the same thing. We cut off the, the dead tops, get rid of that, and we dump them out, and it's full of potatoes. The um, advantage of this is the reason that you grow this is not only a high yield, but just you might like certain varieties of potatoes. So if you're going to grow, if you're going for russet nuggets or German butterball, this is what you want to use. You, you're going to get these. If you particularly like the Pontiac Reds or the Yukon Golds like we do, then you're going to be getting determinate potatoes. They're only going to grow in the bottom of the pot. Now, this is the point where I need to come to y'all on bended knee and ask for forgiveness because I made a bad assumption. A bad assumption is when you assume something without really doing any research on your own and just making the decision on your mind without really digging into it. When I went to get my seed potatoes, I wanted to get indeterminate 
and determinate potato seeds so I could show you the two different um, types of uh, potatoes in the pots. And I saw the Kennebec whites on the table and they said mid to late season. And I, my mind clicked thinking, hey, those are indeterminate because they're mid to late season. Because I knew the determinate ones are early season, the potato, uh, uh, Pontiac Red and the Yukon Gold. And I made a bad assumption that Kennebec White was indeterminate, and it is not. Kennebec White is determinate. So I've made a mistake. These, um, these, the potato buckets that I got outside in the garden that I'm trying to show you, I'm not going to be able to show you the indeterminate type because I made a bad assumption thinking Kennebec White was indeterminate. It's not. So what we have is <laughs> we have three buckets outside that are going to all be potatoes in the bottom below the green point only. So I do ask for forgiveness on that, and um, I hope that I learned something as well as you. So that's what we got, the two types of potatoes, and, uh, the different varieties. So don't just because something says late season doesn't necessarily mean it's indeterminate. It could be a de determinant, you know. So just try to keep that in mind that be very careful when you're making decisions on what kind of varieties you're planting and you're, you have in your mind how many potatoes you're trying to get. If you're going for high volume, you want indeterminate potatoes, then you know you want to get the russets, the common Idaho potato, or um, German butterball, a variety like that. So you can get that big yield like that. But if you like the ones like we like, we like the Pontiac Reds and the Yukon Golds. We'd never grown Kennebec Whites before, so I was naive to the variety really. But the um, these two potatoes, these are basically what we'll always be growing because we just like the red potatoes. We, we eat a lot of red potatoes. So those are the two types. And um, thanks for letting me walk you through that. We'll put a picture of this up on our Facebook page, Hollis and Nancy's Homestead, if you want to go back and look at it later. But let's go outside and I want to take you to the potato containers. And right now, all of my potatoes outside, they're right in between stage four and stage five. You know, the, the flowers have died off. I got a couple that are starting to wilt, starting to show signs of going into this stage five. So I'd say my potatoes are right about stage four and a half. So let's go outside and take a look at what we got. Well, there's here's the potatoes I was talking about there at about growth stage four and a half or so. As you can see, they've still got a lot of green. They're doing pretty good. They're starting to show signs of weakness, but that's okay. That's what we want them to do. Some of this right here is not really stage five. This is storm damage. We've had some real hard, heavy winds and heavy rains. Kind of banged them up a little bit, but I'm gonna I, I just try to pick them up the best I can. We want them to keep growing. As long as they'll keep growing, let them keep growing. So as they're coming along, they're all doing pretty good. Now these, these Pontiac Reds are starting to show some stress. See how they're starting to turn a little bit yellow and they're, they're showing the weakness. This is a good sign that they're getting ready to come into uh, harvest time. Well, let's walk over to the other tater table and I want to show you a, um, another one. Yeah, here's a Kennebec White. It's, it's got some storm damage on it, but it's still good and green. Yukon Gold here's um, right here. This Pontiac Red, it's, it's showing the same signs as the other one over on the other table. But take a look at this Yukon Gold. See how the tops have died back and the stems are real weak and they're falling over. To me, this is suspicious. None of my other potatoes containers look like this. And you can't tell whether or not you've got a root rot problem down in the bottom of that box, or you've got insects or some disease, something might have killed these potatoes down in there, and the plant is showing that. Or it could be that it is seriously in late stage five, and 
if so then it's going to be ready to harvest so this is where i'm going to make one of those good assumptions i don't know if that's a good potato in the bottom of there or not until i harvest it so i'm going to assume by um that those potatoes are good and they're on track and they're going to be able to harvest in about 10 days the worst case would be is if i dumped it out now to check them only to find out that hey there wasn't nothing wrong with the potatoes and now i've dumped them out too early so let's make a good assumption and assume they're good and let them do what they need to do to toughen them skins up so that's it on our potato series i hope you can uh, find forgiveness in your heart for my mistake nancy always says we learn more from our mistakes than we do our successes so i learned some on this one too so if you can find it in your heart to forgive me just right for forgiving down in the comments for me make me feel better <laughs> so uh, we appreciate you watching if you like our channel we ask you to subscribe to our youtube channel be part of our family and uh until we see you next time on the on these harvest videos we're going to harvest these three various uh, varieties of potatoes and as soon as they come in and uh, we'll do one for each each um, variety and uh, we'll be looking forward to bringing those to you so until next time buy us hands, hands we are fed. Give, give us lord, lord our, our daily, daily bread, bread. Amen. amen have a blessed day Thanks for watching our videos. We really love making them. If you like our videos, please like our Facebook page to get the latest tips and tricks. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel to get the newest video. Like it. It would really inspire and encourage us. But most importantly, share it to encourage others. We we'll welcome your comments and questions. Thank you. Have a blessed day.